Wood Jordan to me was one of God's angels that sent down here to show us what entertainment is like or what it's about. And uh, Louis Jordan to me was a gem. But there was so so many others. See, when I came along, my generation, we had Stan Kenton, Count Basie, Duke Ellington, Woody Harmon, Benny Goodman, uh, Jimmy Lunsford, uh, if I didn't mention, but Duke Ellington, all of these we had then. So, man, that's... I don't know what the generation today would say about them, but they were the greatest musicians ever. The great people today are still playing stuff that I heard from them then. Even the rappers, I hear guys rapping, rap, rap, rap. Louis Jordan was rapping in the 40s, but he never did use the words like some of the guys are using today, which reminds me I'm crazy about women. Love women. I don't want to sleep with all of them, but I love women. I think ladies are God's greatest gift to the planet. Um, so when I hear guys putting them down and saying things bad, negative about them, I don't like it. I don't care who it is, black, white, or otherwise. I don't like it. But some of the rappers are great, man. They're very talented. Some of them are very talented. You try and rhyme everything you say, and you're going to find out that they're talented. And the ones, it's all like going to a movie. If I go to a movie, and I have to watch a lot of nudity, I'd rather go to a porn show and see it. Why sell me a movie? That's supposed to be about something else, and I got to watch all that. Now, if it's, I use the word place with taste, like Monster Ball, I believe it's called. Uh, I think it was called Monster's Ball. Dark. Yeah. If it's like that, oh, 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 yes. Because it was taste to me, was put in there with taste. It's just beautiful. But, um, if it's not like that, if I, you know, as I said earlier, if I just got to go, well, the same thing I'm trying to equate that with rap music. If guys got to be talking about under the woman's clothes with his foot and all that, I don't like it. I'd rather not hear it. But if the guys that's rapping in clean rap, you know, they're going to say some words that we wouldn't say on the tube or something, but that that's okay, but you, you don't just continue to do it, if I'm making sense. That if you want to keep my attention. I think Frank Sinatra, without a doubt, was one of the greatest singers, male singers we had. I read, of course, he likes Tony Bennett, which I do too, but to me, Frank Sinatra, Tony Martin, these guys was poets as well as a singer. When I hear Prince Sinatra sing, for example, April in Paris, when he tells you this story, man, you can see that trees bloom, you know, the trees and all of the beautiful things that's happening that he's singing about, because he tells you that story. Bobby Bland is like that in blues. Percy may feel like that in blues. But Bobby could sing anything. Anything. I just love his singing. Another guy called Johnny Adams. I could go on with a lot. But Frank Sinatra. A lot of people can sing those songs. I hear guys singing them now. But I don't know, man. I don't, it's like having a teacher trying to teach you something and they can lay it out in such a way that you can see all of the people in, in the um, uh, the layout that he's talking about. Well, that's the reason I like Frank Sinatra. But let me tell you, after I went over and was playing for Miss Annie, she liked me. And the kids that I was playing for liked me. 
So Miss Annie, the lady that owned the 16th Street Grill, told me, she said, if you get on the radio like Sonny Boy Williamson, I will hire you. Give you $12 and a half a night. And work, you, you can work five or six nights, room and board. I ain't never heard of that much money in the world. Twelve and a half dollars for a night? Oh, man. At that time is when I heard that two smart young men had bought a station and started an all-black operated station. Blacks didn't own it, but they operated it. Even though Memphis was segregated at that time, but any time we walked in there, it's like me now when I go around the world. When I walk into to the American Embassy, I feel like I'm at home in America. And that's the way we were there. So I went over, that day after I left West Memphis, I went over to w, WDIA, it was up on a street called Union Avenue. I went up there and I saw the station and saw this black guy in there talking on the mic and I, had learned from time I used to sing with the quartet in Greenwood, Mississippi sometime. When the red light's on, you're on air. <laughs> had learned that much. And when the red light went off, I then went to uh, uh, this guy that I saw in, in the window and I said to him, Sir, uh, he said, no, his, his words were, what can I do for you, young fella? And I said, well, I want to make a record and I want to go on the radio. So he laughed and he said, we don't make records. Then he called his boss, Mr. Ferguson, Bird Ferguson. Mr. Ferguson came and he said, hi, uh, Mr. Williams tell us that you want to make a record and we don't make records. He said, but we might be able to use you. And he thinking, you know, like smart people do. He said, we got a new product. He's talking to Mr. Williams. He said, we got a new product, and this guy may be the right person. Now, going on Sonny Boy's show, he was advertising now, instead of King Biscuit time, he's advertising a tonic called Had a Call. But Mr. Ferguson then was just about to introduce a new tonic called Pepticon. So he said, uh, you know that thing we've been talking about Pepticon, Mr. Williams, yeah. He says, uh, he ought to be good for that. He looking at me now. So you think you could write a jingle? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I write a jingle. <laughs> Whatever it is, I can do it because I wanted to go on the radio. And the reason why she wanted me to go on the radio so I could advertise a place like Sonny Boy used to. So he said, let me see what you can do. And I took my little guitar, boy, and I started. Pepticon, show is good. Pepticon, show is good. Pepticon, show is good. You can get it anywhere in your neighborhood. He said, you can hire, you hired. <laughs> and that's how I got on WDIA.